in coffee. I would like to make some introductions first uh, uh, before we get started with the presentation. Um, I'd like to introduce the folks from the uh, California-based Whale Sanctuary Project. Dr. Lori Marino, uh, who is the president of the Whale Sanctuary Project. She is the founder and president of the project and the uh, PhD in neuroscience and animal behavior. And she's been studying whales and dolphins for 30 years. Charles Vidic is also the executive director of the Whale Sanctuary Project. You, you, most of you have seen him before. Charles uh, also is from California and uh, didn't bring any warm weather with him, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, over 20 years managing the Cousteau Society and Ocean Futures Society, director of the Kiko Project to return free Willie uh, Whale to his home waters in Iceland. And he has a master's degree plus a postgraduate studies in business management and education. So also Catherine Kinsman is here. She is the Nova Scotia coordinator for the Whale Sanctuary Project, and she's from Muscadabin Harbor. Uh, Muscadabin Harbor. We also have several members here of the local Whale Sanctuary Committee uh, present tonight, including myself. I should also take this opportunity to underline again that I am here as a, as a resident of, the, of Sheet Harbor and I am not representing the uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, who I'm a chair of uh, in any way, so I'm here as a resident. Um, so we're going to talk about some guidelines uh, and the agenda for tonight. Uh, I'm going to introduce Charles in a minute, who will do a short presentation first, outlining uh, a quick overview of the project and then any updates that he has that uh, he's been able to uh, uh, glean from recent uh, community meetings uh, concerning members of our community. After the presentation, we will have the open mic session. Okay? I, gotta, I know what to say, but I'm going to flip it in. We encourage everyone to come up to the mic. This is about you folks. However you feel about this project, you have to come up, please. There's a, there's a mic that's on right there between the aisle, in the aisle. Please come up and tell us your thoughts. Uh, ask a question of Lori or Charles or Catherine and they will answer it. You will have three minutes to make your comment or to ask your question and only three minutes, please. And then Charles and Lori will also only have three minutes to respond. We need to move the meeting along and uh, we will continue on the question and answer or the comment uh, session open mic as long as it takes for everybody to get whatever they want to say in, okay? So it's not an hour or two hours, it's going to be as long as it takes we're here. Um, I should mention, maybe turn your phones down a little bit while we have a minute, uh, just to make sure that we don't have any other interruptions. We should also mention that we have media here tonight. Um, we thank them for being here and making the trip. This is a very important project, not just for the shore, but for the province and, and for Canada. So it's uh, something that is taking a lot of notice these days. So this is your last chance, folks. Take the opportunity, come up to the mic, don't be shy, okay? And say what you need to say, ask what you need to ask. It's very important, It's this night is for you, um, and let's, uh, let's make it a great night, and I thank you again for coming. All right, I'm gonna pass it over to uh, Charles Minnick to start the presentation. <laughs> 